she's on TikTok more than me. The judgers, you know, the people that judge. You know those people. <laughs> we all know those people. Hello, vloggy vlog. Welcome back to another video. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm trying something new. I'm starting the weekly vlog off on Sundays. I just want to try it. I feel like it would be a good idea. I feel like I want to just do something different. So, we're still on a weekly vlog off. It's so flip, flippin' cute. Do they say flippin'? I feel like they say flippin' in the UK. I just think I'm from the UK at this point. Um, I just have on this little bodysuit, these like little bodysuits that I, listen, I got this from, uh, I was gonna say fashion. I got this from Forever 21, and I think it was like $15. I actually, I actually ordered a bunch of them, like I got more in other colors, and I got some workout clothes too. Um, I'm almost certain this was like 10 or $15. I got it in this really cute nude color. <laughs> Look at the booty. gym in like three weeks but the booty is sitting okay that's how you know very comfortable it's super stretchy i actually got it in a small i have on my little zara slides these little like cream slides to so just go with the with the um the jumpsuit and then i got on the same jewelry that i always have on honestly my like bracelets and my anklets and i have on my gucci let me call my uber so, yeah, I'm about to go and get lunch with the girls. I got back from Hawaii yesterday with Shanice. We got in at like 1 a.m. And that was such a beautiful trip. Hold on, what am I doing? I'm getting so distracted. Let me call this Uber. Hold on one second. Okay, I called my Uber. It's not going to be here for another 14 minutes, which is kind of ridiculous, but whatever. So, um... Yeah, I got back from Hawaii yesterday. Um, my mom's going to be here this week. So I'm really excited because it's going to be my first time and her first time in California together. I've never been to California with my mom. I don't even know if she's been to California before. I think maybe like as a very small child, but she didn't like she hasn't visited me in this past year. Um, and I saw her when I went back to New York, obviously, for her birthday to surprise her, like, in June. But I miss her. Of course, I miss my mommy. And I'm just so excited for her to see my new apartment. She didn't get to see my last one. But this one's better, so you know. <laughs> I'm just so happy. She's, like, so proud of me every single time. She booked her trip, like, a month ago. And she calls me up, like once a week and she's like oh my god i'm so excited to come to california i'm so excited to see your place i'm so excited for and i'm just like oh like i need to plan some stuff like she has some ideas of the things that she wants to do this week so i'm gonna just try and like plan some other things i know she wants to go on a hike so we're definitely gonna be going hiking this week um gonna do run in so she can see the hollywood sign and maybe we'll take like an art class she said she wants to do a pot and sip like a smoking and um painting thing or not a pot and sip a paint and smoke something like that i just know there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen this week so i'm really excited my mom is gonna be here ah! um i have this gorgeous tan honey from cabo and hawaii back to back the tan is tanning okay like hello it's giving very much even i've never had such an even tan before i honestly love it here so yeah i'm about to go to lunch with the girls and i'll see you there look at my beautiful friends <laughs> i made it to rappahannock rappahannock I'm with the girls. Hey. I was talking to the vlog earlier and I was like, I'm going to lunch with the girls. The Casamigas. The Casamigas. I'm going to get Oyster. It is. 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 It
My friends just left we hung out so after it's crazy because my window i'm pretty sure my window is closed and that sounds super loud but anyway um after we went to a lunch we ended up coming back to my apartment because we were in downtown la and you know they came over and hung out for the first time and they were just like being so cute they're like oh my god <laughs> i love your place so yeah we were just hanging out we were talking you know having girl chat as girls do we were drinking some sauvignon cabernet some red wine and i had little crackers <laughs> i had like checks mix trail mix or something it was like it was honestly it was so cute it was giving like grown and sexy vibes but like <laughs> period anyway um chat anyway so i'm doing my skincare now i just washed my face i double cleanse i applied two serums and my moisturizer so damn near at the end of my skincare routine i was like where's the vlog i do plan on doing like an updated skincare routine because my skincare has changed a little bit like not too crazy but it's definitely changed oh i didn't put my eye cream on so yeah i do plan on doing that soon my face my skin honestly i've just been breaking out so much recently i don't know what that's about but starting tomorrow i'm gonna be eating a lot cleaner tomorrow i'm going to the supermarket I'm gonna go to the gym for the first time in my building which i'm really excited about so I want to wake up really early and I actually have a video that's already edited and ready to go but I think instead of uploading Monday was a Friday this week I'm gonna do Tuesday Thursday Saturday so it'll be Sunday Tuesday Thursday Saturday and then Sunday again no I think I do have to do tomorrow actually I don't know we'll figure that out when we get there but and 
Yeah, we need to snap my skin back into shape. Oh, so that was what I wanted to tell you a little update about. So as you guys know, I went to Cabo and then I went to Hawaii right after that. And in Cabo, I went um, ATV riding. And when I went ATV, ATV riding, I tried on like the helmet that the guy gave me and the inside of the helmet was like wet and I was like ew somebody was sweating in this like I said that out loud and the guy turned around and he was like no no it's the cleaner and he like put it into like a bottle of like cleaner spray that I guess they spray on the inside of the helmets you know because COVID and stuff and like germs or whatever which is fine but like that wet part sitting on my forehead for like the two hour excursion literally like when I got back from the excursion the first thing I had to do was like pee and I wanted to wash my hands because they were really dusty and dirty and I go in the bathroom and I took the helmet off and I had like a cluster of like pimples like they were just like really like there was just so many of them so I uh, you know I picked at them I was picking at them yeah I just have some scarring on my forehead and right now I'm just working to basically lighten those scars the hyperpigmentation I want my skin to be even and scar free again so yeah my skincare has like kind of shifted. I'm about to go to sleep. It is time for bed. It's like, it's 11.03. Yeah, that's time for bed. Cause I be waking up at like 7 a.m. So I wake up between 7 and 8. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. What's up you guys? Good morning. I just got back from supermarket. I was running errands this morning. Um, I went to Ralph's. I only got two little bags of groceries. I didn't feel like carrying like a bunch of stuff to be honest. It was probably the weekend. I didn't feel like carrying a bunch of stuff. So I just got like things to make lunch and dinner and meal prep for like the next two to three nights. I think I can make myself dinner for like the next two to three nights with what I got. Actually, probably the rest of the week to be honest. But did I say it's Monday? Happy Monday! It's Monday! So yeah, I needed some, some groceries. So I just got some bread, cool bread. A cool. I got carne asada flat meat beef and i got some salmon i'm gonna make the salmon tonight for sure because yeah i want salmon like i don't know why i've been craving like a lot of seafood which is probably why we went to a seafood restaurant yesterday because it was I, I planned yesterday um so i got that i got some watermelon because it was on sale and it's in season and i absolutely love watermelon as you guys know um and then i grew Oh, I got lettuce and I got broccoli. Oh, and then I got tomatoes, tomatoes, and I bought some tuna. I love me a good tuna sandwich. Like, tuna's so high in protein, which I've told you guys like a billion times at this point. And we back in the gym today. I'm going to the gym in like 20, 30 minutes. I just need to like charge up my phone and stuff. But yeah, that was everything I got from Ralph. I want to go to the gym. Um, but first I want to eat something. I think I'm going to just make myself like a little yogurt parfait for right now with some granola. I don't have any fruit to go on top of it. I should have gotten fruit. Can I put watermelon on it? That would be kind of weird though. I'm not going to put watermelon. It's just going to be yogurt, chia seeds, and granola. Go to the gym. I'm going to work out for like 45 minutes because I'm starting back kind of like easy it's been like probably a month since i've been back in the gym with moving literally with moving and then being on vacation for two weeks like i just kind of fell off like i was slacking od and i fell off so it's time to get back into it i want to be back in the gym at least working out every single day for like 30 minutes but today i'm gonna do 45 i'm gonna do 30 minutes cardio and i'm gonna do like 15 minutes of like ab workouts okay so i have all my workout clothes my little you know this set actually i got an oikos oikos i don't know if that's how you say it peach and i just added i just added granola and chia seeds like i literally just poured in there my little protein before the um the gym so yeah, I'm about to eat this and then I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll see you guys afterwards. 
Bye. You guys, I just got back from the gym. Oh my God. You know how, like how much more you sweat when you work out with a mask and a wig on? Like, honestly, I should have just taken the wig off from before I went down because I knew it was gonna do this. I didn't glue it down. It was just, I just used, um, like gel i didn't glue it down it was just like gel down so at the second i started sweating the gel obviously yeah pretty much that that's literally what happened oh so i just did um 22 minutes because the stairmaster was like timed on its own i was gonna do 30 minutes on the stairmaster but it stopped at 20 and then it did a two minute cool down. So I did 22 minutes on the Stairmaster and then I did 10 minutes of jumping rope. I know I said I was gonna do abs today, but honestly, like after I got off the Stairmaster, I was feeling really lightheaded. <laughs> probably because I didn't eat enough and the workout was kind of fasted which is okay but that's why I was like I was drinking a lot of water and I was like I don't feel like doing abs I feel like the abs would have killed me so I did jump rope instead and honey I sweated my wig off as you can see she's gone yeah I wore my waist trainer your girl was just really snatched you know like <laughs> I want to take it off <sighs> about to make myself a protein shake. I'm gonna be using my Bloom Nutrition plant-based protein and the chocolate flavor. 20 grams of protein. This is really good. You can use code Jasmine at checkout to save you a little coin, sis, okay? If you need to get up on your fitness supplements, they have other stuff too. They don't just have protein powder, so. But I'm just putting these three. Scoop of protein. You saw how much liquid I put. It's because all of the fruit is frozen. That's why you need like one banana or you need like some of your fruit to not be frozen because it will literally come out like a damn acai bowl. Like, like this shit. That's my protein shake. That's not a damn shake. It looks like a shake. It looks cute. I'm about to drink my, <laughs> I don't even know. You can't even drink it. I'm about to eat this and I'm gonna do some more emailing because that's what I was doing before I went to the gym. Um, earlier this morning, I was gonna finish up some emailing. I have, I already have tomorrow's video edited thumbnail ready everything ready to go so i'll think i'll just schedule it so it can go up tomorrow i have my like my next like nine videos planned which i'm really excited about and like we do a real good okay i'm feeling like august is going to be a very consistent month for me and i hope it just continues on for the rest of the year yeah i'm just gonna get some work done good morning vloggy vlog happy tuesday it's Tuesday. i just got a call from my mother she just landed at LAX so you know I had to clean and I cleaned very well and I just laid my hair you know the little slick back moment I'm actually about to put some like real clothes on because she's probably gonna want to go outside she just texted me actually and she said I'm hungry what's there to eat <laughs> I just wanted to say good morning you guys what's up it's Tuesday I cannot believe but I have these giant jars that sit on my counter um this is flour i have brown sugar and the last one is empty i think i'm gonna put like a grain in there like maybe rice or something amazon i bought these um chalk stickers chalkboard a chalkboard label set this was like really cheap it was like maybe like eight dollars and it comes with the little marker so i'm actually about to label these jars because i think that would look really cute honestly i would get more jars and just label a bunch of things <laughs> Cause I like labeling stuff but for right now I just have those three so yeah it comes with all the different little they're different sizes and there's also like different shapes um which one do I want to do I think I want to just do oh I kind of like this one I don't know why this one is speaking to me <laughs> oh not a bubble so that's what that looks like oh so cute so 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 cute yes Sir, 
<laughs> so cute! Sugar, spice, and everything nice. Shake the marker vigorously for 20 to 30 seconds to move the ink around. Oh. <gasps> Not it splattering everywhere. Oh no. I'm over here shaking it without the top on. I'm an idiot. Don't do that. I was shaking it without the top on and I got it on my counter. I hope that comes off. Oh yeah, we're good. We're fine. False alarm, people. False alarm. I should have wrote it on the sticker before I put it on the jar, to be honest. But... Ew, that looks ugly. Or maybe it doesn't. Flower? Is that how you spell flower? Do you ever, um, I know how to spell flower, but do you ever like are typing something out or writing something out and you're like second guessing if it's spelled that way because it just looks weird? Like not even because you feel like it's just spelled wrong, like, but just the way that the whole words look, like the letters look. Is that like a form of like dyslexia or something? Because I be stressed sometimes. I'm like, dang, is that how you spell that? But then like I have to Google it just to make sure, but like, this is how you spell flour. Yeah, anyway, so next one. This one's gonna be brown sugar, baby, because we don't got we don't use white sugar in this house. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. <laughs> Yay! Don't that look so cute? Like, don't you just wanna like use it cause it's cute? I don't fucking know. <laughs> But yeah, let me go and get dressed um, because when my mom gets here, she's gonna want to eat like right away. She she don't play ball dead. When she hungry, she hungry. You know. You guys. So my mom just left. Um, I know you guys didn't get to see her. She was being a little camera shy. I'm not gonna lie, but it's okay. I'm gonna get her when I uh, see her again, probably tomorrow. Um, but we just went to Denny's and we had breakfast because she really wanted breakfast. There's a diner that's like right around the corner that I wanted to go to, but they were closed and I didn't know that they were closed on Tuesdays. So we just ended up going to Denny's. She got her little breakfast or whatever. You know I love breakfast. She loved breakfast too. Um, and then obviously we came back to my apartment and she got to see it for the first time and she was just so happy and like so proud of me. And she just kept like, oh my God, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this, like she just kept saying that and I was just like smiling so hard because like I love my mom so much so You guys are gonna definitely get to see her though um, in this vlog But like I was like, you know what you've been traveling. She's a little tired, you know, I'm gonna let her chill so um, But yeah, she just left going to check into her Airbnb. We just have a rental so we finna be outside. <laughs> um, I told her I want to go to Ikea this week um, and she said like we could do that so we're definitely gonna do that probably like maybe tomorrow the day after i don't know but yeah i'm back inside now yeah i don't know i don't know i know i want to go to the gym today i went to the gym yesterday i definitely want to go to the gym again today so i'm probably gonna do that i uploaded a video this morning um and it's doing really well it's my shein haul so all of the clothes that i wore on vacation in cabo and in um hawaii were all shein outfits so I did a haul, I filmed a haul before I went on vacay and that video went up and it's doing really well and I'm really excited, you guys are loving it. So that means I get to do more hauls, yay! Which means I get to get more clothes. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill out for like a little minute and then get ready to go to the gym in a bit. Um, and then I'm gonna edit a video later and yeah, probably make some dinner, maybe. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but. Bell. It's my enemy. Stupid house is so whack. Stupid house should have befriended me. So she could have probably came back. You're a stupid hoe. You're a stupid hoe. You're a stupid hoe. And I said, fuck it, 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 I said, I am the female wheezy. Chia, so I just got back from the gym. Your girl was sweating, okay? But I kind of exhausted my legs. I don't know why. I did legs yesterday on the Stairmaster. And I went in there today thinking that I could do my legs and my glutes again. And I wanted to work out for like an hour and a half, but I could only do an hour, so. And yeah, I'm about to make dinner. I'm gonna make salmon and something else. And I'm gonna watch um, Real Housewives of Potomac. I started it. <laughs> 
ever since I seen Nikki tweet that she's gonna be, um, she she's possibly gonna be doing the reunion, I was like, oh, let me catch up. Like, let me catch up. Got my salmon. These, there's so much liquid. Oh my gosh. Got my salmon in the bowl. And they cut the skin off for me already. Oh my gosh, I love that. So I preheated my oven to 375. Pink Himalayan salt. So I'm gonna season one side, lay it in the pan, and then flip. And then put it in the oven to finish. Garlic powder, very hectic. Baby, poke it up. Black pepper. Cracked black pepper too. Onion powder. Chili powder. Oh, the oven's ready. Whoa, whoa. Baby. Little bit of cayenne. Oh, smoked paprika, you've got to do that. Oh, I've got garlic parmesan seasoning. Since this is an Alfredo, I'm definitely gonna put this on. Oh, my one. Ooh, that was a lot that came out, Jesus. And then just for garnish, some parsley. Where is it? There it is. I'm gonna be with the tulia. Where don't watch any tulia. Oh, and I didn't put any salt. Let me see if there's salt in this garlic parmesan though, because if there is, then I'm not gonna put any. Yeah, there's salt, so I don't need to put any salt. Okay, I seen on TikTok that it's like very immature to um <laughs> to break your, your noodles up in half, so I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> because there was a very angry Italian man that was super frustrated at his girlfriend for doing that on TikTok, and I was like, uh, let me not cover this that it could in the pan. Just a second they go off. Pull. And it's gonna leave looking done up. What Oh my gosh, this garlic powder comes out so heavy. Ooh, look how pretty. Yes, sir. Look at how pretty. Okay, I'm going to let that cook for like two minutes on this side, and then I'm going to put it in the oven to finish cooking because it's raw in the center. Look at how pretty my black and salmon. Yummy! Oh my gosh, so good. And then the pasta's almost done boiling. I'm just gonna keep, you know, keep an eye on it so it doesn't overcook. Salmon looks absolutely amazing. I just took the pasta off of the fire. I'm going to drain it and then I'm gonna add the sauce and start mixing the sauce in there. I'm gonna just open up this jar of Alfredo. Oh, I'm gonna put my heat on low. Cause I just need it to simmer. I'm gonna dump the whole thing. It just looks so plain and goopy. Oh my gosh. So got that in there. Just add literally like the rest of this Parmesan. I have another one. I have a little bit of heavy cream in here, so I'm just gonna add the rest of this. Black pepper. I'm really just like eyeballing it too, as you guys can tell. I'm gonna add this garlic Parmesan seasoning because it has salt, garlic, and Parmesan in it. So I'm just gonna add that in there. That's what that looks like. And then probably just some parsley. It is on low, so I'm gonna give it like 
a little under 10 minutes to just get a little thicker, you know? And then I'm gonna throw my pasta back in here and lay my salmon on top, and that's gonna be dinner. Don't you know who better do your fucking research? Look at my blackened salmon on my, sh my fettuccine Alfredo. This looks so good, oh my god and this was such a quick meal honestly i am all for quick meals like this i uh, i don't know i don't like spending like hours cooking and cleaning and i like to clean as i cook so you know um they eat much dishes to wash actually which i'm very proud about but this just looks so good let me take some pictures of it so i can post on the gram so i can make some people jealous you know <laughs> but no seriously this looks mad good um Girl, I'm about to dive in. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Now, nah, y'all need to try this. Open. Open. Just, just try it. It's not. I'm. I promise you, it tastes good. Just open. Hold on. Let me get you a good. A good little helping of it, you know, because you're only getting this one bite. I'm not sharing no more after this, so. Come on, <laughs> try it. Yes, it's good, right? Mmm. Mm. Wow, I need me some water. Yummy. So, um, <laughs> chill. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, vloggy flu. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's like 7.30 in the morning. Um, my mom is on the way here from her Airbnb. We're about to go hiking. Um, we're gonna hike Running Canyon and then afterwards we're gonna go to Ikea. But y'all, I just needed to show you, like I'm trying on my clothes that I'm about to wear for the day. I bought workout clothes from Forever 21. Like, I just got two sets. I got two sets of workout clothes and then I got three of those like one piece jumpsuit body suits that I was showing you guys the other day. And I got those in a bunch of different colors. I honestly just need to do like a collective haul. But this, these workout clothes are so nice. Like, Forever 21, I definitely feel like has stepped up the quality of their clothing. Um, while still remaining at the same price point and I'm just really impressed. So let me show you hold on like seriously This is mad cute Like this is so freaking cute the quality of these workout clothes. is like thick and it's really stretchy I got both of these in a medium. I got the biker shorts in a medium and I also got this little Look at this top this top is so freaking cute. I got this top and I got matching um, pants. They're actually like leggings, like they're long, but I didn't feel like wearing leggings, so like hiking, because I know that it's gonna be hotter later on in the day. Like, yo, this top is mad cute and it comes with padding, so you don't have to wear a bra underneath because it's a sports bra. This is what the back looks like. It's so freaking cute. This little cutout right here and this band and it's like a really nice ribbed material. Oh my gosh, I will have a link down below for you guys, of course. But let me go and, I already brushed my teeth. Let me go and slick my hair back into my little low bun like I've been wearing it. Because my mom's about to be here in like two seconds and I know she's gonna call me and be like, come downstairs now. <laughs> be like, uh. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right Got my little fanny pack on, my phone in it, and I'm gonna put my wallet in there and some lip gloss. But I did my hair, you know, a little slick back, nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, my mom just called me, she's downstairs, so let's go say hi to my mommy, go hiking. <laughs> it's my mommy. Mom, every time people see you, they always say that you're my belt. twin. <laughs> sound oh you're gonna make a left on olive not this one the next one okay oh i know which one you're talking about <laughs> turn left onto south olive street okay it wasn't so bad i i could handle driving out here 
Really? What it is is, you know what it is? It's like here, you get off. It says okay, uh, stay in the next, uh, in the right two lanes or yeah. the two left lanes or whatever. Or three left and, lanes. And then you have to do that. And then once you get off, then your exit may be on the other, other side. side. Yeah, right. which is why you have. That's what I don't like. So then I feel like everyone on the road, when they're driving, they're switching you know lanes South very Street last minute. Oh yeah. So it's just always you're constantly getting cut off. Either last minute or as soon as they get off, like they yeah. know that their exit's gonna come up on the like left. Like you so always see people, yeah, just like going across four lanes, yeah, and yeah, it's just yeah. like, oh my gosh, like. So that means you have to be paying attention. But I, I did find a lot of people did use their signals. So you can kind of anticipate, okay, this guy has a signal, so he's gonna shoot over to the left. Yeah. You know, or or opposite or whatever. They're making a left on first, but this is seven, so okay. it's like six blocks. I brought a cliff bar. Okay. I only eat half of it, so you want the other half. Okay. Okay. How many are you counting your calories? No, I'm oh. actually um weightlifting now. Yeah. I went to the gym yesterday and I um did like squats and a little I did a lot of um, heavy lifting for my legs because I'm trying to build my leg muscles up yeah because I feel like I've lost enough fat or just weight yeah um now I want to like tone and lift and lift my muscles well they don't like that word tone they you know the people that judge um don't like that word tone it's not called toning it's called you're actually bu building muscle oh yeah, you're just build building muscle. muscle. Why don't they like tone? What's wrong with tone? Because they say that there's no such thing as toning. You're not toning a muscle. Mm. You can only build a muscle. She's on TikTok more than me. The judgers, you know, the people that judge. You know those people. <laughs> we all know those people. This is where I get my personality from, this lady. <laughs> oh, is that true? Because she's a ham when the camera's on. Oh, it. I'm just like this all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Our Leo rising Gemini sun, Leo moon. Queen. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> you know what I do? But when I'm around people like that I don't know, I'm, so, I'm very quiet. Yeah. I just sit back and I think I just observe. Mm -hmm. Just watching people and I, I do the same thing. I'm stuff. like, I, yeah. I, I'm observant first before I say anything. Like if I'm entering into a room or a space where I don't know anyone. Yeah. I'm only like truly comfortable around my friends. Yes. Or people that I know. Yes. But up until then, I'm just like, okay, let me be observant. And I'm picking up on energies. Yes. And personalities. And I'm like, hmm, me and this person probably wouldn't get along. Me and this first will probably be fine. Yeah. In one thousand like I can tell that. the second from See you at the hike. We're on our hike. We're on Rocky View. LA. We're breathing heavy already. Yeah. <sighs> but it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Do you want to be? <laughs> good morning, bro. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no. People are so funny. Whenever they see a camera, they just act up. Literally one of my faves. I just feel like whenever I go on a hike, I need to come here <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> I'm 
getting a dresser. Definitely getting a dresser. I seriously love Ikea so much. <laughs> I've already got some stuff in my cart. We skipped the showroom because I feel like I've been through the showroom so many times at this point. It's not really necessary, but I know what I need and I know what I want. Shopping in Ikea with my mommy. Maybe she didn't get them from Ikea. Maybe. Maybe they're like from the container store. Oh yeah, possible. She likes the container store, right? She loves the container store. We're talking about my grandmother. My Nona. I'm trying to figure out where I would put it though. Like on the other side of the TV, not where the mirror is, on the other side. Look at these soft little lights. Oh yeah. $15.99? That's just mood lighting, that's not even. Oh, this would be kind of cool on my balcony. <laughs> okay, so I tried getting my mom dresser unit. It was a six drawer dresser unit, but they were sold out of it actually, so I wasn't able to get it. And then um, the other, the other, the other furniture item that I wanted to get was a PAX unit, and I still ended up getting that. But some of the items that I was going to get inside of my PAX unit were sold out. I was like, dang, y'all sold out of everything I want. <laughs> But other than that, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Like just some more home stuff, you know, like some things that I need. So I'll do a little haul. I'm really excited though that I'm getting a PAX unit. I just wish that they had all of my items. Like there was some shelving units that I couldn't get. Um, and little inserts basically. Because they were sold out. So right now I'm just waiting to pick up my order because it's like they have to retrieve it from the warehouse and bring me all the parts. So I'm waiting on that right now um, and they're gonna help me bring it out to the car and then I'm gonna head home and I'm probably gonna, uh, knowing me like how I am, I'm gonna wanna assemble it like right now. <laughs> Got my stuff. I was not expecting it to be this big. This thing is huge. I did measure it out though, so it's gonna fit, but like, I don't know, it's just way bigger in person. So I have like six pieces. Um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm just waiting on one of the employees to help me bring this out, and my mom wants to go and get the car. She's gonna bring it up to like the little loading area, and then we're gonna head home. You guys, I just got back from Ikea. I am pooped. <sighs> you can't even like, I can't even fake that. Like, how do you fake a yawn? That was a real ass yawn. That's how tired I am. I had the cutest day with my mom. Seriously, it's just, I'm like, get, I'm gonna get emotional about it, but like, <sighs> I love that lady. Like, I, I really love her, <laughs> as you should, right? I'm not finna cry on YouTube. We not finna do that. <laughs> Wipe them tears, baby. You a big bitch. <laughs> no, but seriously, I love her. I love her so much. And I just want to be able to give her the world. Like, I think about her with everything that I do and everything that I'm working towards because I, I literally want to be able to give her the world. So it's just amazing that I'm here at this place in my life now where... I can kind of like show her the fruits of my labor and like the work that I put in over the years and like what I was essentially like going after and chasing and aspiring to be and finally being in that position and being able to show her like it's a, it's a really like fulfilling thing like I feel very fulfilled right now like my parents being proud of me is probably like the the biggest thing that I want out of life. Like I want to feel like my parents are proud. I want my mom to feel like she's proud of me. Like enough about that. But I posted my mom all over my story today and so many people, like so many. I haven't gotten this many DMs in a while. So many people will keep telling me like, your mom's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. She looks so young. Your mom is gorgeous. She's your twin. Oh my God, twins. Like I have so many DMs to respond to. I'm like, yo, y'all are really, really sweet. And I told her, and she was just like, oh my god, I think I look young. Do I look 24? That's what she said. <laughs> Does that mean I look 24 years old? 
like yeah that's what that means but yeah so i had a beautiful day what a wonderful day i'm back in my apartment can we talk about how heavy this damn pax unit is oh my gosh i me and my mom was low-key struggling like we had it was it, this is really heavy and she was like I think you should assemble it in your closet but I'm like how the hell am I gonna assemble it in my closet like I don't even know how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have to like move everything out of my closet so I can assemble it in there so that it can stay in there but then I'm like dang like I'm gonna do all that not even talk I'm not I'm not even thinking about moving honestly I'm not thinking about moving but I'm just thinking about one day when I do have to move again like, you know what? The mover's gonna take care of that. That's not even gonna be my problem because, listen, I'm assembling it, so. I'm gonna relax a little because I did go on a hike and then was heavy lifting, so I'm gonna take a little break. Um, but then I'm probably gonna start assembling my packs, you know. Also, because I low-key wanna see what it looks like, especially since it's gonna be like half built, because <laughs> they didn't have half of the stuff that I wanted to put in it, but like, whatever, so y'all. See you later. Happy Thursday. Hello, vloggy vlog. We just made it to San Diego. We're in San Diego. Ciao. The sun is beaming. I got my sunglasses, so I'm about to put them on because I don't think I'm going to be able to do this squinting nonsense. But we're in San Diego. Look at it. I was, we're in downtown San Diego. It's so nice over here. It low-key kind of looks like downtown LA, not going to lie. We're right near the pier, so I think we're going to go to the pier. We're going to find, look for food because I'm very hungry. My stomach is growling. Go on this little olive green jumpsuit from forever 21 and i've got on a this forever 21 cropped jacket and my bag is zora bag is zora i got it for 25 it's one was very cute look at my mom mom say hi <laughs> yeah i had to put my sunglasses on because i was squinting way too much very sunny outside boat on the pier so pretty she's getting her little video for her tiktok you're getting your videos for your tiktok yes <laughs> i'm gonna put my mom's tiktok in the comment section <laughs> we're at port side pier we're going to brigantine seafood and oyster bar looks like it's really good food from what I saw online. Radish or um, hot sauce and lemon. Do I have to mix this like wasabi and soy sauce? You like can that? if you want. You like lemon juice on yours? She got a cucumber jalapeno margarita. It's so good. She said it's the best drink she's had. Oh. My God. <laughs> are they sweet or are they it's salty? So, it's savory, it's um, uh, bitter because of the vinegar. Uh -huh. And this. <laughs> I don't think I've ever eaten oysters that taste like that good before in my life. They're so good. It's so good. Yeah, those are really good. They're kind of sweet. I like that. 
That is delicious. It's fried chowder. Oh, no. That's good. That's good. It's not hot enough for you. Oh no, that's terrible. It made me nauseous. is made in Mexico. She got a necklace. She's gonna get my sister a dream catcher. Oh, they have dream catcher bracelets. The little magnets are so cute. Look at this magnet. What is this one or this one? You like this one? I like that one. Or this one. Mm, I like this. This one? Okay, yes, I got Buddhas. Yeah. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Yeah. This giant statue. But you know, in the original photo, like she didn't know who he was or anything, and it was like a forced kiss. Did you know that? Like the real story behind it, it's like a forced kiss. Yes, Gen Z. I know that. Why must you ruin everything? <laughs> So, I don't know about this one. <laughs> but it made it seem like it wasn't a forced kiss by reenacting it in the sculpture. Yeah, so I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day with my mommy. She's so excited to be in San Diego. She's talking about she wanna move here, so. I mean, it's closer than New York. You wanna move here, right? Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, she does. So yeah, I'll just talk to you guys later. No. Um, probably like 25 years ago. <laughs> Doing, we're getting caricatures. Never airbrushed. Never caricatures. Never airbrushed. Caricatures. Yeah, John. only did um. Oh, it's airbrushed. It's airbrushed. Airbrushing like theme parks and stuff. But, it's cool. but you have a power source. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's start drawing. Okay. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> Throw your eyes first. Okay. Start booking stuff again. But right now it's kind of just under the bar a little bit. Make the TikTok. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's it looks so great. Funny. I love it. I was happy to go in the year up there too. We're getting gelato. Little Italy food hall.